Hey there, we're Charlene, Chris and Holly. And for the past year, we've been living full time in our home on wheels. So we started off in Europe last year and we're now currently exploring Turkey over the next few months. So subscribe to the channel and follow along our adventures in this beautiful country as we find out together all that it has to offer. And the last few days in this small fishing port called Dalian. It was full of street dogs, so Holly didn't get out much, but it was a nice and quiet place to spend a few nights. Now that we're fully rested, we're back on the road heading to this isolated village along the coast called Bapakalem, famous for its handcrafted knives. Bapakale is situated at the westernmost point of Asia and is our first stop for today. So the road coming in here was absolutely beautiful. It was a really nice drive along the sea and seems very quiet here as well so we've just parked in the middle of the town square and we're gonna have a walk about see what we can find it's so quiet here guys we've only seen two people <laughs> yeah this uh, little village is home to about 500 people so it's very tiny but in summer the numbers do grow because a lot of Turkish people have like a, a house or something here where they would come for the summer months. And there are no dogs as well. <laughs> so far, we've got no dogs. We have capers <laughs> in the jars. Homemade. It's good, right? It's always good. Just stopped at this cute cafeteria and got some chai and we had to try some local baklava as well yeah. and a homemade pastry which is really good so, food here so far has been spot on uh, Kazakhstan Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Babakale. Mama mm -hmm. mia, how old? Babakale is famous for handcrafting uh, knives. And this is the only workshop left. They were around 18, he told us. So, and it was his father, grandfather, and great grandfather who originally came from Kazakhstan. And this is the only workshop that's left. He's also shown us his family tree up there on the wall, going back over. 200 years. Crazy. Hey Sam? Doğal. 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 Benim küçük Ali. 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 Ah. Ali Usta. 1979. Büyük Baba. Grandfather. Grandfather. So he made this one. Grand grandfather. Grand grandfather. The great great grandfather. <laughs> oh my god. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh my god. Burası, uh, <laughs> nah. Very old. Wow. Ellerim de titriyor. Too many knives. Yeah, 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 so the steel is from Sicily. Sicilia. Sicilia, Sicilia yeah? Sicilia, Babacale. By boat. By boat. Wow. So this guy gave us also a certificate. And what's it for? It's because we, we came to Babakale? I don't know. I don't know. We have to translate it, guys. Yeah, but we've got a certificate, so we yes. must have done something right. It's really nice from him. 
And now we are in this place where they sell zayt in Kalem. Just across the road. Yeah, just across the road. And they have all of these handmade necklaces. She does all of these uh, with her own hands. And they also sell um, olive oil. And as you can see in the jars there, they have these uh, orange peels and fruit peas, which are very, very good. And I'm going to buy, <laughs> for sure. They also sell scarves here. Wow. This is very nice, very delicate. <laughs> My name yeah. is Yes Etabe. <laughs> Right now we are in the castle and I am imagining like guards here protecting this castle back in the days of course. The castle itself is very small and we can see the whole village from here. As you can see there are the houses over there. It's so nice, tranquil, you can hear the sea as well. Hitting the rocks is just beautiful. So that is about it here. Was Babakale worth a stop? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so guys, this marble inscription that is found here above the gate it says that it was built by the admiral kaimak mustafa pasha to protect the settlement from the french pirates i thought your turkish translation was very good yeah it is good no you're just reading off your phone <laughs> google helps me a lot thank god we live in this beautiful world now that we can google everything and then we have information and you know all the answers yeah <laughs> So we've been walking around the castle and what started off as a path has kind of disappeared now. So we're just trying to, we, so we're just trying to get through here. Whoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, shit. That was a big snake. So it was just a huge snake here in the path. Well, lucky I saw it. We found a way out. So Chris, tell us about your experience. That was a close call. It was a real close call. Like just a meter away, I saw this big black snake who rolled up and he just rolled off or crawled away into the bush. How big was it in thickness? I don't know, it was black and it was like this. Ah, so it's, it's a small one. It's the biggest snake I've seen, not like the ones we have in Muta. Oh, okay. It was quite big, yeah. But anyway, I'm still alive. You're scared? Not anymore. I'm still alive. But we need to watch out in Turkey. I forgot about snakes. Yeah. So the roads coming in and out of Babakale are full of potholes. Nightmare to drive, but on the plus side, we've got a beautiful view of the ocean. We've now taken like a country road, uh, rather than staying along the coast. And it's absolutely beautiful here. We are seeing a lot of animals like cows, birds, geese and sheep as well. And it's incredible because even the roads here are very different than what we saw earlier on our trip. This area is filled with rocks and small trees and there are some water streams as well and in fact we are seeing as well a lot of water tips like they are everywhere in this area yeah in europe good. yeah in europe it's a big problem like trying to fill the motor home with water whereas here it's so easy like wherever yeah. we stop every village we've got taps everywhere where you could just fill up and uh, yeah, free. Or have a shower. <laughs> Definitely. Whenever we are passing through these small villages, we are always finding a mosque and a cafe. Um, 
and usually men gather there to have their chai. It's just beautiful to see it. And then everyone is like staring at us because we are with a motorhome <laughs> and not a lot of tourists I think pass from this area that we are today. So they don't see a lot of tourists. Some of the villages that we passed from today are called Tuzla, Gulpinari, uh, Bademli, and now we are going to Bektas. Just in case you wanna Google search where we exactly are. <laughs> little town called Kuchukuyu. Did I get it right? Yes. <laughs> Kuchukuyu. What a name. And we had a great kebab. We also had to stop there to top up out our uh, mobile phone SIM card data. We're now back on the road and we're heading along the coast. And tonight we're going to be staying at a campsite for the first time in Turkey because we need to recharge and empty and fill up everything. Stay walking with me everywhere. So good morning friends. Yesterday we came to this campsite. It's called Altin Camp and it's one of the oldest campsites in Turkey. Uh, absolute blast here. It's really peaceful. Loads of Turkish and European uh, camper cars and caravans here and to top it off we've even got our own private beach. Weather's a bit too cold to swim but I see some brave people are already. Really enjoyed this morning here. It's so peaceful and we're now gonna get going and head towards the Ayvalik region, which is just a further 30 minutes south from here. And I'm gonna go and explore like Chunda town. So let's get going, but first, I wanna show you quickly around this place. So we've got a pipe here where we can fill up and there are all the facilities over here, like the toilets and showers. All in all, an absolutely amazing campsite and we would have loved to stay here longer. We also need to try and get ourselves an adapter for Turkey because like at this first campsite we stopped at, they don't have three pin plugs. Uh, luckily they had their own wire and we were able to connect it through our extension and tape off this bit and we were good to go. But we might need to get some sort of adapter I guess for here. Anyway, problem for another day. Chunda. We started off with the hard bit, we hiked up to the top to check out this windmill which they've now turned into a restaurant and we've been surprised by these spectacular views here behind us. Yeah and today guys I'm not carrying Holly, Holly is down here because I heard that there are a lot of cats here so it's okay for Holly to walk.
three windmills in this area. We thought that there was only one, which is this one that we are looking at, but there are two more. One is over there, and we passed another one on our way into town. So right behind us, if you look closely, you can also see a bunch of people doing windsurfing on this beautiful day. And right behind them, there's a small stretch of land, like an island, with just one small chapel on it, which is really interesting. Well, it used to be a chapel. It's no longer a chapel. Who's a good girl? Mmm, that's a good girl. So we're just walking through the colourful streets of Chunda and Charlene was right. There are no dogs, but this place is full of cats. Hello! I will get it for you. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> What a colourful wall. Yeah, it's very nice. And this is where all the people are, look. This is definitely a touristic location because there are a lot of stands outdoors that people can buy souvenirs and bracelets and jewellery. Yeah, it's like a mini market here yeah. leading to the sea. It's really beautiful. I think it's very famous with the Turkish. Matching bike. It's really nice, guys, because you, you find these spots that the design is so authentic and beautiful. Everything's in olive green. Yes, it's very famous here because. Um, oh, okay. okay, oh boy. So Holly's back in arms now, we need to retreat. We go this way, not this way. Let's go this way. So we have just been kicked out of this street by one of the street dogs. Another one's coming from this side. We need to evacuate quickly. It's currently midweek and this place is full already. So I can only imagine what it's going to look like in summer. Must be a hotspot for the locals and people from nearby areas. Loads of restaurants as well and they're all open. Some of the villages we were passing through uh, in the two weeks we've been here, some of them have been closed, so it could be that now they're just starting to open up for the summer period. Yeah, it's a sunny day and everyone is out. Yeah, and there are a lot of boats as well. I think in summer it's very um, famous to go for a boat ride. Oh, look, it's funny. <laughs> She's scared. scared of the balloons. favorite food mixed grill and salad ah, it's gonna be hard to leave Turkey in a few months time but for now I'll just continue to enjoy it. <laughs> so guys we got the baklava Ready to one, go. One thing I want to tell you is how beautiful is this setting here. There are green points everywhere. On the side, on top of our head. It's just beautiful. So Chund Island is also known as Alibay Island. If I have to describe it in one word, it's colourful. It's funny how they... Okay, they're playing. In every street there is something to look at. It's just... And beautiful. Look at that. And the blue eyes. Oh. I can see the van. Let's go! Here on Chunda Island, apart from the town where we're at, there's also a part of it which is uh, in nature. So we found this spot on Park for Night, we're just going to go and check it out. We're not sure on the road conditions, so let's see. I hope we can get there. You 
say peace is just a state of mind You help me reach it when I leave my behind In this city chaos and dust in our eyes Speeding at us, we sweetly walking by You say freedom's all about letting go Stripping down from all the ego Tasting beauty when it aches in your soul Letting all these restrictions go It's another amazing sunset here in Turkey yeah, it was a bit difficult to get through here with the roads, but it's absolutely amazing here. We've got sea on both sides, and I think we're on our own, like in this area, there were a few other cars further back, and I see there's a few people further along the coast, so we're alone in this spot at least. Yes, so I hope you liked our video, and hit the like button if you did, subscribe for more, and see, see you, you in, the next, in the next one!